in this video all we're going to do is just demonstrate the user roles that we have uh, been you know creating uh, we'll test all the codes and pages that we have added to our website we'll test to see if an authenticated user from one row can access the page from another row we use the three different registration pages to register two users each and then after creating this user we'll check to see if they have been added to the row so this is just uh, to test everything that we've been created and I was going to <laughs> leave these videos out initially thinking they're going to be advanced but when I thought about it I thought okay you might this might be very useful to you if you want to create different rules on your website and uh, to manage different users so let's go ahead now and just test this out so let me close out the uh, web.config file that we had in the previous video so now let's uh, let's create the first user okay, let, so let's create a normal just a normal registered user who is not going to be added to any role so this is just a normal registration page let's do it okay so we're going to call this one just um, student okay we're going to say student one we're going to give you a pass what is pass email will be student one at email dot com question question one and answer answer one okay so let's hope everything is fine we create a user at this minute because the uh, row will be because we don't have any row it's fine so what we're going to do is we're going to go back again to our registration page again so what we're going to do is we're going to create a new user so let's refresh the page it's probably going to okay let's now create another user so we're going to say student 2 uh, pass will be pass again pass email will be student 2 at email.com uh, question 2 and answer 2 so we just want to create two users each and to make sure that everything is working fine so we create user so this is fine now we've created two user we're not going to have a look yet so now let's go to the staff registration page to see if our code works so this is the staff registration page we're going to add the user to the role of staff okay let's fire up the page okay the staff registration page now let's call it this is staff one staff one at email com question free and so free okay let's create the user okay that's fine uh, we haven't configured the continue button so it's okay let's just go back to the registration page and refresh the page so we can create another user we're gonna cause this stuff to to and a simple password this is not the way to do it on your website <laughs> at email.com you want to make sure your password is at least six for the users uh, question four answer four okay let's create a user we haven't configured the continue button but it's fine because as soon as you click on the register button the event will be fired and the user will be added to the role so hopefully <laughs> so now let's uh, go to the third lecturer page we want the user to be added to the lecturer row so let's uh, so this is going to be lecturer registration page as you see at the top here so this is going to be lecturer one lecturer one at email.com question and okay let's create this user and finally we need to create the uh, last user and now go back to our backend and see so this is going to be lecturer 
to lecturer so I don't know why it's difficult for me to actually type lecturer okay question 6 answer 6 you can disable this uh, question and answer as well so it's not a big deal I can do a video about that but I'm not really worried about that now if you want me to do a video about to disable it maybe you can just uh, so now we've created our users and uh, let's go back to our web dot uh, the ASP.NET configuration the administrative tool so let's see we have six users so okay so something is working fine we have six users so let's click on that to see all our six users and we have two rows so what we can do is we can actually say manage users we'll be able to see their rows from here so as you see we have lecturer one if we click on edit row we should be able to see that the lecturer row should be checked yes so that means it's fine so if we click on edit rows for this one lecturer two as well okay that is not checked right okay let's see for staff one is the staff checked or right, is checked what about staff for staff two is it checked it's not checked i think the reason why is because we were uh, refreshing the page so that's the problem because we're refreshing instead of us to uh, start the page from afresh so that is the reason I can guarantee you that is working so every time what I'm gonna do now is just to confirm it I'll close this out let's close this browser and I'm going to go back to the one for the lecturer I'm gonna do it twice again but this time I'm not gonna refresh it I'm actually gonna cancel out and then load the website again so let's create lecture uh, oh, I told you to give me lecture free uh, lecture free at email.com okay let's just say test and test two here okay so I'm gonna create this lecture free then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna close it close the browser and bring it back up so let me close the browser then I'll load the application once again because that was the reason why the second user that we were creating was not added to it so let's create lecture four to uh, four <laughs> like to uh, for at email com so I'm just gonna say test three then test four right so let's create this user so now we have created lecturer three and four so hold and behold this one's we have the lecturer um, checkbox checked to me to mean that uh, they have been added to the right row so we should have more users in our database now so we need to check we've added two more to make eight so now let's check um, lecture three and four manage users okay lecture three and lecture four let's see the rows see that one is checked so let's check for lecture four okay same thing so that definitely show you that the reason why we didn't get the checkbox to be checked was because we were refreshing the page rather than going back and reload our um, load the application from the ground up so let's look at the rows I think we should be able to view okay so now we have the lecturer we can manage the lecturer rows we can see all the users under the lecturers so we have under the lecturer we have lecturer one lecturer three and lecturer four remember the last uh, the second one we were refreshing the page so we didn't get it so if we go back as well to the staff we're going to have the staff one yes because the staff two we were refreshing the page so this shows you how to, that the is working so what we now what we now want to do is we're going to log in with one of these so if I log in let's let me go to the master page so what I'm going to do is I'm going to uh, bring up the master page there's a reason for that so I'm going to log in let me log in to the lecturer 
and see if we can access the staff page so I'm going to log into the lecturer so we can use any of the lecturer one so we can use lecturer one that one works lecturer one the password is passed and we log in that should be fine okay so now we now lecturer one is in so what I want to do now is I want to access so I can access any page as you see I can go around the page I can access the student page so but if I decide to go to another page so let's do this let me go to the master page which is okay so I can I want to go I can click on any of the pages and it's going to be fine so this is student sub page one but if I decide to go let me go under the lecturer folder so this is the lecturer folder so I'm able to see the lecturer only page because I'm a lecturer so it's visible to only the lecturers but if I decide to go inside the page just for the staff if I should click on this link now it's going to redirect me to the login because I'm not a member of that role as you see he has redirected me to login so that means everything is working fine and same thing for so let's log out now let's log in as a student so if I say student student1 and the password is passed as well so if I should log in as student1 it's fine I can view all the other pages the about us page everything will be fine but let's go and browse all our pages you should protect your master page so that people cannot see your link um, your directory like this so but if I should go to any of the pages for maybe a lecturer folder I, can, I won't be able to go to see the lecturer because I'm not a member of the role the same thing if I should go to the staff so staff only page because I'm not a member of that role I will be directed to the login page so this is how you use it and if you want me to prove it as well again if I log in as a lecturer so anyway I don't have to prove anything anymore you see how it works so this is how you use the role uh, manager in ASP.NET so just like I said this particular website that you're using is built in PHP not in ASP.NET using this form so I created many roles so I have the PHP role, the ASP.NET, the HTML, Java so I have different videos so depending on which one that you want to uh, learn which one you're interested to I send you that link so once you use the link the link will be sp specifically for that role so as soon as you register on that particular link just like a create different registration page so as soon as you register you're going to be added to that role and once you log in you're only allowed to uh, view uh, uh, the content from any other pages the only content that you see are the content that you subscribe to every other content will be invincible to you so I can actually make it possible for user to see all the content but they won't be able to access it but I think that is very frustrating and that is why I did not choose to do that I only allow people to see what they have actually said they're interested in so I hope this is um, I've uh, given you a lot of ideas of what you can do with it so if you have any more question feel free to contact me thank you